welcome to our marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so again uh, in this video this is also a continuation of a dayatsu dika video so in this video i will try to give you some information about what are all the inspection that we need to do on a shell type bearing so how to inspect what is the procedure that we need to do before inspecting so let's go and check the video now we are going to inspect the bearing this is uh, for the connecting rod shell bearing all you need to do is uh, you have to blow air in all the crew part oil flow path and uh, both the side blow air ensure there is no dirt inside and uh, you have to inspect the bearing whether uh, it got any uh, fretting mark outside the closed cap between the metals and uh, inside you have to check for uh, the trace of uh, any seizer peeling or any trace of cavitation or any sunken foreign matter between the bearings and you have to check the condition of the slot check the condition of the groove and uh, outside the bearing check for any fretting mark or any hard deposits or any sunken foreign material you can just fill it with uh, bare hands so that you can feel if there is any obstruction and the same way you do for the bottom side bearing also and bottom side bearing and top side bearing both have a different design feature like it got a different oil flow path and uh, the top got a different oil flow path it got a hole and a groove for lube oil flow and you have to check whether the hole is okay whether there, were, there is any cavitation mark or is there any kind of damage in the hole or in way of the oil path and just check for any peel off any kind of uh, uh, hot surface like uh, indication of uh, high temperature means it can be easily identified by uh, dark spots like you can see like hot spot and you just uh, keep the bearing in this way and uh, keep your hand and you can feel whether there is any score mark in the bearing both bottom and outside and inside surface and check for the oil grooves check for the pin lock pin which which get locks in the connecting rod and behind you see as i say check for the lube oil grooves and properly you have to inspect so that uh, you can identify whether this bearing can be used again or not and do not use any kind of uh, scrapper or any kind of uh, um, <coughs> material to do the corrections you just use maybe uh, a kind of paper like or else you can use a oil stone that should be okay if there is any kind of foreign materials and do not use uh, uh, what do you say like uh, use a uh, file or scrapper you know so that uh, you may damage the bearing surface so use kerosene or you can use a clear uh, diesel oil to clean the metal surface wash it properly so that uh, it remains clean when till the time you put back the bearing in place so i'm do the washing now clean it with the nice uh, rags blow air so that uh, nothing is trapped behind and use a clean cloth once you done with your inspection and cleaning wrap it in a clean cloth and secure it separately so this is how you have to inspect a uh, shell bearing and the next this is for our bottom side again the bottom side also i clean with the diesel oil 
or kerosene whichever clean it nicely with the rags while cleaning itself you have to check the condition of the metal so both the side you have to clean it properly once it is cleaned wrap it wipe it with a clean cloth and uh, blow blow air and you can uh, secure it safely with clean rags so our cleaning and inspection of uh, bearing is done okay so after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to do uh, shell bearing inspection and what are all the procedure that we need to follow how to handle a shell bearing so that's all in this please share our channel with your groups friends so that our channel will grow globally if you have any comment please put in comment box or whatsapp me definitely i will reply you in our next video i will try to give some information about how to fit bearing on a connecting rod thanks for watching keep supporting